in this video we are going to be doing multiplication of number bases 3 2 1 1 base 4 times 2 2 3 base 4 yeah so we have 2 2 3 base 4 times this before we continue to with this i would like to give a little histo illustration to this just the same way we multiply numbers in base 10 is the same way we multiply numbers in other bases and uh, i will give an example of multiplying numbers in base 10 explain it and then use the same method to do the same here in uh, base 4 so let's say we want to multiply number like this let's say 78 times 13 and this is base 10 So we have 3 times 8 is 24. Now uh, 3 times 8 is 24. And numbers in this term we have 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 to 9. And this number is bigger than numbers that are in this term. So we cannot just write it here. So what do we do to this number? We divide it by 10 because we are working with base 10. With, with base 10. So when we divide this number with 10, We'll have, uh, we'll have two remainder four. We'll have four as a remainder and we'll have two as our result. So, and when we have this result, what we are going to do, we we'll write down our remainder under this place and then we take two to the next number. So that's basically what we do when, when, uh, multiplying numbers both in base 10 and in other bases so let's continue with this we have we have two here and then we have three times seven three times seven is 21 and 21 plus two we have 23 so 23 is also bigger than number that in base 10 so we divide it by 10 also we have 23 divided by 10 and we will have this as a two remainder three so Two remainder three. So we'll write three here and we'll take two to the next number, but there's no other number here. So we'll bring it down to this place. And then we use one to multiply. We have eight here and we'll have seven here. And then we add them together. So adding them together, we have four here. And then we have three plus eight, which is eleven. And 11 is bigger than 10. So we we'll also do the same thing. We divide it by 10. We we'll write our remainder. So we we'll have 1 and we'll take 1 to this place. So we we'll have 1 plus 2, which is 3, and 3 plus 7, and that is 10. So we we'll have 10. So we are going to divide it by 10 because it's bigger than number that in base 10. So if you divide 10 by 10, you will have 1 remainder 0. So we have zero here, write down our remainder, and there is no other number here, so we'll bring it down here. So we have uh, multiplying this number in base 10, we give you 1014 base 10. So let's use the same method that we did here to do this, just to show you that it's the same thing that we do when multiplying numbers in base 10 and when multiplying numbers in other bases. So we we'll have for a uh, base 4 here, so We'll multiply this. We have three times one. We have three because three is less than four. That's why I write it down. We have three times one. We have three. Then three times two is six, and six is bigger than numbers that are in base four. What are numbers in base four? That's zero, one, two, three. So three times two is six. Six divided by four will be will be um, two. So sorry, will be one remainder two. Six divided by four will be one remainder two. So we'll have our remainder here, we'll right two here, and then we'll take one to the next number. So we'll have three times three, which is nine, then plus one here, which is ten, and ten divided by four will give us two remainder two. So we'll have two here. Now we we'll multiply with the next number, we'll have two times one which is 2, 2 times 1 here is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, 
um, 4 divided by 4 will be 1, remainder 0, so I write 0 here, I will take 1 to this place, so I'll have 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7, and 7 divided by 4 will be 1, remainder 3, so I have 3 here, there's no other place to put it, so we'll write down 1 here, so we we'll multiply with the next number, which is 2, so we are going to get the same results here, we we'll have 2 times 2, we have 2, 2, 2 times 2, 4, we divide by 4, we have 0, we take 1 to this place, we have 2 times 3, 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7, so 7 divided by 4 will be 3, and 1, that is 1 and 3, so add them together, so add them together, and then we'll have 3, here yeah, we'll have 3, because there's nothing to add to it, then we have 3 plus 2 is 6, and 6 is bigger than numbers in this course, so we divide it by 4, then we have uh, two, 1 remainder 2, right, 2 here, and we'll take 1 to this place, so we have 2 plus 1, which is 3, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 divided by 4 will be 1 remainder 3, and we'll have 1 here, so 4 times um, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 0, 3, plus 2, we have 5, so 5 divided by 4 will be 1, remainder 1, so we have this here, so we have uh, 3 here, plus 3, which is 6, we have 2, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, plus this is 5, so we have 5, 1, remainder 1, then 1 plus 1 here is 2, so, so 3, 2, 1, 1, base 4 times 2, 2, 3, base 4 will be 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, base 4. So we are going to be doing another example of this. So we we'll have 3, 8, 5, base 12, and 79, base 12. So before we do uh, this multiplication, we'll do it to write down, write out the numbers in this 12 because 12 is higher than 10 so that we will not uh, be making some mistakes because when we have 10, we will know that what we are supposed to have is A and then no for B. So before we continue with this, um, uh, if you want to multiply numbers in other bases and uh, uh, you you want to check if your result is correct what you do is you change this number maybe you have base 12 here so you change it to base 10 and change this one also to base 10 then multiply it get the result returning back to base 12 and then check if your result is correct so um but we'll not be doing that in this video because it's too long so we'll continue with the multiplication so we'll have nine times 5 is 45. So we we'll have 45 here. Now 45 is bigger than numbers in this 12. So we'll divide this number by 12. So dividing this number by 12, 45 divided by 12, um, that will be 3. So 12 times 3 is uh, 36. So we we'll have 45 minus 36. That will give us 9. So we'll have 9 here. So uh, 45 divided by 12 will be 3, remainder 9. So we'll write our remainder here. And then we we'll take 3 to the next number. So we'll have 9 times 8 is 72. And 72 plus 3 is 75. So 75 divided by 12. 75 divided by 12. Uh, that would be 6. So we'll have 6 remainder 3. Is equal to 6 remainder 3. So we'll write down 3 here. And then we'll take 6 to the next number. So we'll have 7 times 3 is 27 plus 6 which is a uh, 34, I mean that's 3, so that's 3 divided by 12, that's 3 divided by 12 will be 
um, two remainder eleven. Two remainder eleven because this is uh, no two remainder nine after three minus twenty four. Okay, that will be two remainder nine. I have to remain the 9, so write down 9 here and then take to the next number, but there is no other number here, so we'll bring it down to this place. So we we'll have 2939, so we we'll use 7 to multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. So 35 divided by 12, we have um, that should be 24, that's 2 remainder 11. But we don't have 11 in this top. What presents 11 in this top is B. So instead of this, we'll be having 2 remainder B. So write B here and then we take 2 to the next number. So I have 7 times 8, which is 56, then plus 2, 58. So I have 58 divided by 12. So that should be 48. So we have 12, 12 times 4 will give us 48. So we have 4 remainder 10. So 10 here, 10, 10 in this uh, 12 will be 8. So we have 4 remainder A instead of 10. So write A here and then we'll take 4 to the next number. So we have 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. So 25 divided by 12 will give us 1 remainder 1. No, 2 remainder 1. Because 2 times 12 is 24 and 25 minus 5 is. is. So I have 2 remainder 1. So write 1 here and then we write 2 here. So we'll add this together. So I have nine we have nine here so now three plus b so b in base 12 is present in 11 so I have three plus 11 will give us 14 so 14 divided by 12 will be one remainder two so right to here and then we'll take one to the next number so I have one plus nine which is ten and a in base 12 is presenting 10 so have 10 plus 10 which is 20 and 20 divided by 12 will give us one remainder 8 so have 8 here and then take one to this place so have 1 plus 2 which is 3 and plus 1 which is 4 and then we have 2 here So, 3, 8, 5 is 12 times 7, 9 is 12 will give us 2, 4, 8, 2, 9 base 12. I will be stopping here for now. In the next video, we are going to be doing division in number bases. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.